I'm Anne Griffith from Mirror.co.uk. We've come down to Henley Leisure Centre to check now, out the Telegen equipment itself, Olympians the Olympians will be using in Beijing and to take on yeah. Steve Redgrave. Five time gold medalist should go on. There's a lot of nervous faces around. A taste of some exercise this morning. It's nothing like being a real athlete. What does it take to be a success at an Olympic Games? A very different level to, uh, to what we've been playing at this afternoon. Um, it's it's, it's about the, the dedication. <laughs> Going to an Olympic Games is a big step up from any other form of competition. It's a different atmosphere. How, do, how, do, how does an athlete cope with that once in a lifetime? It is a huge, a huge step up. Even though that they're racing exactly the same people as they raced at the World Championships last year and the World Championships before that. We have a World Championships every year apart from Olympic year. But the Olympics is something special because it's, it's something that uh, comes around once every four years. When I won my first Olympic gold medal in 84, uh, the previous rowing gold medalist before that was 1948. And uh, one of the guys was a journalist that came up to me and he said to me, he said that, uh, that you're world champion for one year, you're Olympic champion for life. And that really does sum it up. You talk to, to people that are not um, in Olympic sports. I remember seeing Tiger Woods and Tiger talking to, to Tiger um, and Matthew Pinson brought out his gold medal and Tiger was just blown away with it. That's something that, until now, he hasn't even had the opportunity of having the chance to do, but has seen the Olympics and how special it is. And you think of how great of an athlete he is and a great golfer he is, but he will never become an Olympic gold medal or not, not to miss what this game is or the games after. Uh, I want to see the British team being as, as, as successful as we possibly can. And we have a lot of opportunities. Um, our cycling team is probably uh, our strongest element and, and they have a potential of, of winning a, a good number of gold medals. Our sailing team is very strong, our rowing team is very, very strong. Um, that we've got one or two, one or two chances within in athletics. Um, um, we've got three boxers that uh, have got uh, good chances, which I haven't heard of. I, c I couldn't even tell you what their names are, but I've heard on the grapevine that we've got some, we've got some good boxers. Um, That's and in the some ways, the Olympics as well, isn't it? They could become <laughs> household names. Yeah, at the end. they will. They will do if they if they win. That's the beauty in some ways, but the, the downfall in others. Uh, the, the football team go to the uh, the World Cup. The rugby team go to the, to the World Cup. Uh, the cricket team go, go abroad, um, that most people will know one or two athletes within those teams. Some people will know the whole squad. Nobody knows hardly anybody of the Olympic team that are literally going to leave these shores in a few days' time. Um, but if they win gold, they'll come back as household names. So uh, that, that's good in some ways because of the event, but, but sad in others that we don't really know who our potential Olympic champions are.